Hello and welcome to what may be the final episode of our South Africa campaign here in Victoria 3. We have reached most of our goals, we've become a great power, we have the ninth largest economy in the world, and I want to get up into the top 10. We have a very high standard of living, a pretty decent literacy rate, a uh, decent amount of pops, we are independent from Great Britain. The only other goal that I had for this run is to own the South African strategic region, and we are finishing up the colonization portion of that over here, and then we need to try and take this state off of Portugal, uh, and then probably just accept the L for this state that France owns. Now, right now, France uh, might be going to war with Portugal, which would be bad. I don't want them to fight unless I'm calling France into a war against Portugal. That's kind of a key factor here. So I'm hoping that Buonioro decides to just back down, and that way there's no truce. Uh, but we shall see. The Marina Kingdom is joining. I don't think that's really going to change France's mind or Bonioro about uh, how safe they may or may not, in fact, be. Uh, okay, a bunch of people are migrating to us. We have a lot of buildings going over here. Armed forces east of Cape, led by Granville Partner, demand a solution to high rates of venereal disease among their men. Uh, we can enact a Contagious Disease Act, or these laws are inhumane. Uh, they request the enforcement of laws that allow police to detain women suspected of being prostitutes and lock hospitals on the grounds they spread. No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, that sounds bad. No thanks. No thanks. All right, really hoping they back down here. Really hoping they back down. <clears throat> really, really hoping. Because otherwise, I'm going to need to wait. Because I don't think I can take Portugal and their allies alone. Uh, so I think I will need Francis help. And there we go. They do, in fact, back down. So I could try and conquer this state immediately. Uh, doing that, though, would give me 28 infamy. I'm currently at 60, so we could afford to do that. There is a chance that France will want to join us. And most importantly, Great Britain can't get involved. So they can't, like, screw us over and make it to where we cannot join. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do this yet, though, because if you look here, Portugal has a little tiny bit of Herero land, which is in the South Africa strategic region. So if I wait then I can go ahead, colonize all this, and then also take that in the war, and then we can call it a day uh, and own everything here, except a little bit that France owns, which it's going to be very difficult for us to uh, to take from them. I would say near impossible for us to take from them, because they are big and strong and scary, and we are tiny and not scary, and also not as strong. Uh, we are up to, let's see here, we're up to 58 battalions. We can conscript 42 more. I would love to be able to pass... Uh, national militia, but that would radicalize the armed forces, and we cannot afford to make them that upset. Uh, if we were going to go nationalize or national militia, we would have to have done it earlier. Uh, okay, there's a strike uh, with the railway unions. How applicable? Um, we'll just go ahead and open negotiations. We also have a native uprising here that does give us some more infamy, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully, it's not too much, though. And hopefully, no one joins. Actually, it'd be great if Portugal joined. That'd be cool. I don't think they will, but that'd be cool. I would suck if France joined. <laughs> but hey, I mean, it could happen. Trade unions are upset with the industrialists being in power. Trade unions... Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That's fine. A bunch of people are heading to our country. Okay, we've still got build order. That's fine. Our authority is kind of in the gutter here. Um, Northern Cape and Eastern Cape. We do need to... Get rid of, I think, this road maintenance here, unfortunately. Now, how does that affect our market access? Uh, it brings it, like, just under. We're still... Yeah, okay. So, go ahead and get a railway built. Make sure it's up on the front of the priority. The queue. Uh, labor negotiations. After a thorough discussion with union leaders, they have agreed to suspend the strike if their major demands are met. So, they want us to pass wage control, workers' protections, or expand workplace safety. Uh, well, I'm trying to go for women's suffrage right now. And then workers' protections. Who's against that? The industrialists are. Well, not really that much. Does get minimum wage. We'll go for... Uh, hmm, actually, I don't know. Regular child labor allowed? No, we want to get rid of that eventually. Uh, we can go for, for workers' protections. Yeah? Yeah. We'll do that one. Getting this railway throughput is bad. That part's very bad. It is what it is, though. Okay, they're worried. Uh, let's go ahead and mobilize one general, and hopefully that makes them back down. Suffrage rally. We can increase our success chance or risk a little violence for 20% more. 
There's a there is some amount where we get minus ten percent, but we're gonna go for it. And unfortunately, we got the minus ten percent. So this was a really high chance to succeed, I believe, and now it is a not so high chance to succeed. Unfortunately, very very unfortunately. Uh, okay, we're still colonizing down here, and look at that. They backed on down, so now we own all of this land as well. Do I want to use dynamite here? No, but I do want to use that, which means I should have unproductive trade routes for sulfur. Okay, cancel that. Good, 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 good. All right, looks like we need more iron. We are building five more iron mines here, so that is all being taken care of. Uh, if I wanted to conquer this, it would cost six infamy. Okay, that's good to know. Are you... What are you doing? Why are you... Why are you building a munitions plant here in South Angola? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Weird. Weird decision. Uh, we are going to have to back out of women's suffrage and try and pass through... Uh, workers' protections, because our, if there's a general strike, it's going to obliterate our economy. All right, well, let's try for the Portugal War. At the very least, we could say that we tried, right? Uh, but, like, we're so close to getting this completed here. So close. And it's one of our only colonies remaining, is the thing. Yeah, they're getting luba. I mean, we're up farther than I thought we were ever going to get. Which is fine. I mean, it's, it's more land. Who doesn't like more land, right? I just wish that we would focus on colonizing the north up here. That way we can go to war and not worry about Portugal colonizing more. Uh, I mean, considering how long it's taking them to colonize, I don't think it's really a big deal. But still. You know, still. Wow, they have an expert colonial administrator. I didn't even know that was a thing you could get. Which gives them 40% more colonizing. Wow. That is... Very, very useful stuff. Very useful stuff. Uh, my, con my one major concern is that we go to war with Portugal, we take what we need, and then Portugal goes to war with Herrero and annexes them and gives us absolutely horrendous borders, which would be a, a tragedy. An absolute tragedy. Uh, let's go for bolt-action rifles here and make sure that our buildings are all... Up to Siege Artillery. There we go. The Siege Artillery is very, very, very strong. Gold fields depleted. That is unfortunate. But you know what that means? More gold mines. And I do enjoy me some gold mines. T-Door, Revolutionary T-Door. Yeah, I don't care about that. That part I don't really care about. Hmm. You know what? We're just going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, ooh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, before I throw too hard, uh, we have a shortage of of artillery here. So let's go up to breech loaders and repeating rifles. And then build two more of these. That is that is a priority. We cannot go to war until we have the actual like guns. Kind of important. Uh, make an industrialist mad or the rural folk. Well, I don't really care what the rural folk think. They're pretty weak. We do need to also expand our bureaucracy, so let's go ahead and do that again. This infrastructure is way too high. Cool. Let's go ahead and fix that with three railways. As long as those guns are being built. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess that gives us more time to colonize. Uh, let's make sure that we are still improving relations with France. Who else has a interest down here? It is... Ugh, Great Britain has an interest down here again. And they're wary towards us. And if France joins us, Great Britain will probably get involved. Not exactly what you want to see. Not exactly what you want to see. Opposition members put forth demands. Yes. Ooh, actually. <laughs> uh, doesn't that make the armed forces angry with me? Uh, if we could, you know, not get literally all of these pop-ups ruining... Th please, please, just let me... Let, let me scroll down. Uh, they're currently at minus two. Okay. It's fine. That's fine. Yeah, because Portugal won't colonize it naturally, but they could, they could very well get the uprising, which would suck. Which would suck. But if I wanted to conquer this, 
Portugal, US, Spain, all on one side. Uh, France and Great Britain, who knows? Who knows? And Britain's cold with us, so odds are they'll probably uh, not side with us, if I had to assume. Of course, it doesn't help that we're super notorious. We are about to drop below 50, though, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I think once we drop below 50, which shouldn't be too long, I mean, it's going down to a pretty decent rate here, then we should be good to go to war without people getting too mad. We're also still waiting on our guns. Taking a while. We're in the later parts of the game, so it is... The game is chugging a little bit. It is, in fact, going a little bit short. Uh, Spain actually considers me to be their rival. So, who are your rivals? Uh, the United States. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and declare a rivalry with you. That's fine. That'll make the U.S. possibly like us more. We can start to improve with them. I don't think it's really going to matter at the end of the day. Like, I'm pretty sure the U.S. is going to protect their protectorate. It's kind of like their whole, you know, thing. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Look at that. We're number eight economy now worldwide. Uh, it's a bit of a jump, though, to get up to the British Raj. Uh, Declaration of Women's Rights. Sure. Who are you? Ah, you're the leader in intelligentsia. Gotcha. 50% chance we flip more people to feminists. I'm actually going to do that. That that sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a very good idea for us to do. Since I do want to get the women's suffrage through after workers' protections. But making sure we get this and avoiding the general strike is uh, more important at the moment. <sighs> okay. All right. Are we below 50 yet? We're at 50.4. Well, I mean, we're just going to go back up over it. I, I, am, I am absolutely 100%. Like 110%. I am coping. <laughs> I am coping. I am trying to delay this war because I know that it can go so very poorly. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to go for it. And the United States flips neutral. And there we go. There's workers' protections. So let's go right back to doing this. Trade unions are mad. Don't care about the other people. And everyone is very on board. Hell yeah. We love to see that. Love to see that. <clears throat> okay. So France is not currently interested in joining me. Great Britain is not interested in joining me. But are they interested in joining against me? That is the question. Strike keeping promises... Uh, just make them happy for a while. Yeah, let's let's make them happy for a while. And look at those loyalists! Oh, huge. Okay, well, let's make one more demand. I want to add the war goal of conquering the state of Portuguese Herrera land. Yep. Now, that's all the war goals that we're going to do for a bit. Uh, go ahead and we're going to have to mobilize soon. Soon, TM. They haven't mobilized anything yet, so I will not either. Uh, why is Spain in charge of this? Oh, is it is it the protectorate of Spain? Oh, I thought it was. I thought there was America had a protectorate over Portugal. No, no, no. I think these two just had a defense pact, and I think the U.S. just backed out of it. Funny. 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 Yeah, but I can't convince France to join in on anything. They don't want it. Which is very sad. It is, in fact, very, very sad. And I'm not going to push for any other war goals, because this is literally all I want for Portugal. Like, I don't want war reps. I don't want nothing. I just want this. They have not mobilized anything yet. We are going to fully conscript, by the way. Uh, is Spain running with the good old trench infantry? They are... But they're only running shrapnel artillery. And it's a huge difference between shrapnel and siege artillery. Look at this. So this gives plus 30 offense and defense, 20% morale damage, 30% kill rate, and then 25% devastation. Siege artillery, 40 offense, 30 defense, 40% morale damage, 25% kill rate, 50% devastation. So we kill less people, but it gives us more offense. And we do twice as much morale damage to their troops. So looking pretty good. Pretty good. Yep, no one wants to join us at the very end. All right, well, let's go ahead and check our generals out here. So expert offensive planner, we'd love to see that. And expert defensive strategy, okay. 
Well, uh, let's just promote these guys then. Yeah. We'll make sure that the expert offensive planner is bigger. Uh, go ahead and mobilize them both. And we will actually conscript some people here. So we can conscript battalions from there, from there. You know what? Just fully conscript. It's the last war. Just go for it. Go all in. We've got plenty of money in the bank. I can raise taxes. We're literally in the lowest taxes. So we might as well just fully go in. No one else can join them anymore. He's feeling confident, though. I, I think you're incorrect. I'll be real with you. I think you're incorrect. Uh, so they're sending a lot of troops here. So we're going to send our defensive guy over to this front. And then we're going to try and close this front with our offensive general. And then he can come back and try and push up here. I think that's our, our current goal. So let's go ahead and send our expert defensive strategist to the front. Uh, and send our expert offensive guy up to here. Yes. There we go. To arms. Oh, they're sending 100 here. Dang, they got a lot of dudes. Okay, well, while they're not here, you can go ahead and push. Just get some kind of movement in. Yeah. There we go. Wow, we are zooming. We're having trench infantry. We are absolutely moving along on how much we're taking. My god, I did not expect us to move this quickly. Okay, so now you switch over to defending this front. That's huge, because we have the war goal. We have 100% of the war goals, which means their war enthusiasm is going to drop rather quickly. Or their war support, not enthusiasm, sorry. Uh, where is your war enthusiasm? It's somewhere around here. Here. Yeah, they're losing minus one because... Oh, we only control 50% of our war goals? Oh, we didn't grab this one. Oh, no. That's okay. We'll, we'll get it. Hopefully we can take this before these guys arrive. Yeah, and they can have fun moving into our uh, defensiveness here. 182% defensiveness and 74. Yeah. Have, have a good time with that. Have a good time with that. Uh, we have been caught out here. I'm actually going to move us down south and go grab this war goal. They will be able to push this back, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. If we can get this other war goal, it will drop their war enthusiasm a lot faster. Yep, there we go. Then we'll, we'll meet them up here, and it won't be a huge deal. Perfect. So now they should be losing two war support. Uh, 2.78. Two from enemy controls war goals, casualties. 25% uh, of their population are radical. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, and then I th think we just push here. Like, we have the advantage with siege artillery. Like, I'm pretty sure we just... Keep going. Here, we definitely defend. With our defensive general, we, we just hold here. He smashes into our siege artillery and, and dies. But here, here, I think it lies to us when it says we lose. Yeah. Like, we win. We win these. We win these. I was worried about this war. I don't know why. <laughs> We're doing fine. We're doing great, in fact. We are doing wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We don't have anything under construction. I'm okay with that, I think. Maybe. Uh, tools are expensive. We can build more tools, I guess. Uh, or short ammunition, because we're at war. You want to build another ammunition plant? Uh, build five more tools as well. That'll do good. That'll do good. Our money is dropping rather quickly. Uh, we're fine, though. We have plenty of gold reserves. Plenty of gold reserves. Okay, we do lose a battle up here. We're pushed back. But again, we just we just have so much defense that every time they try and push us back, like in a counter-offensive, we do well. We are losing our morale, though. Are they going to collapse before we do? Ooh, they, we might. I don't know. This is going to be a close one. It's going to be a very close one. I don't know. I think we're collapsing faster than they are. Yeah, we are. We ran out of morale. L. Huge L for us. Uh, then go ahead and just stop or start defending. And we'll just hold these lines until they won out of the war, which should not be too long. Uh, all right. Yeah. I would say that's a successful war. Maybe they try and do some shenanigans where they land. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'd say we're a little short on tools. 
<laughs> I would say that when the entire country is like, uh, hey, hey, Poe Mew, we need tools, bro. We have zero tools. Perhaps, perhaps we should listen to them. Eh. Might, might be a decent idea. Might be a decent idea. Also, our economy is absolutely tanking. Because uh, the price of construction goods and our military goods as well, since we have fully conscripted. Uh, but that's okay. Because this war will be worth it. Now, we have spent uh, 3.44 or 55 million compared to their 2 million, but they have lost way more troops than we have. Way more troops. And they are almost ready to peace out here. Just another couple of days, and they will give us what we want. There we go. They gonna accept the peace deal? Oh, Portugal does not agree. Oh, well, who gives a damn what Portugal thinks? They're a protectorate. That's ridiculous. Ah, whatever. All we have to do is capitulate the Spanish out, and then the Portuguese are absolutely nothing. We'll roll over the Portuguese. They're yeah, uh, zero legitimacy. That's not good. Go ahead and bring in the trade unionists. Kick you out. Kick you out. Uh, kick you out. Sure. That's good. Getting some legitimacy. Probably a good idea. Oh, wait. Who wants... Oh, no. All of my feminists died. Wait. 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 No. Uh-oh. That is what we would call bad. <laughs> For women's suffrage. That is bad. The feminists are dead. Uh, I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to keep them around for a while. Ugh. It's the workers' fault, okay? It's the workers' fault. They made me switch which law I was focusing on. Okay, it's true. It's true. It's their fault. Believe me. Believe me. Uh, Spain, you could just leave the war, bud. Like, I'll let you out of a white piece. Like, that's fine. Just go. Shoot. Be gone. Radical Prussia. Uh, I think Radical Prussia is going to win. Considering the size of everything, I'm pretty sure Radical Prussia uh, gets the dub here. I don't know what gives me that idea, though. All right, nothing's under construction again. Why are tools even more expensive? Am I importing tools? I was. I was, in fact, importing a lot of tools. Oh, boy. I did not realize how dependent on the French we were for tools. Well, that's a problem. That is, in fact, a big problem. And my convoys are being absolutely obliterated because I, I don't have a navy to contest this. But there we go. Look at that. We own the things. The things are now ours. That's a lot to incorporate. I'm going to need more bureaucracy for that. Okay. Well, if I wanted to go to war with the French, which I do not, I do not, but I feel like we should at least give it a shot, right? We should at the very least attempt to get the land from France. What is this? Portugal, Zululand, or Zimbezi. That's terrible. Well, another war against Portugal? For real, for real? For real, for real? I didn't see them having that. How was I supposed to see that? They're tiny. They're so, so tiny, bro. All right, well, with the very least, I want to colonize all of Herrero. Uh, we'll see if we actually get to that French war or not. I am not sure about that one. Uh, we can also go ahead and get rid of this decree there we go and I can't get rid of the building yet like the the road maintenance I have to build two more things up damn well I think it's an L for our women's suffrage movement unfortunately um, because even the intelligentsia oppose it why why who are you led by a jingoist <laughs> great a bigoted jingoist nonetheless yeah cool that definitely will not help definitely will not help me in the slightest Ooh, the italians and the, and the uh, british are fighting <sighs> i really don't think we can beat france but but we'll give it our best try okay i have to at least try to to scare the french into submission yep that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna scare them into submission they're gonna listen to me they're gonna be like dang this Poe Mew guy, he's crazy, bro. He's insane. We should just back down. That's that's what's going to happen. It's definitely not going to be that France is going to, like, roll me. Mm -mm, no, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't They wouldn't get 
all of their troops involved, right? Also, what's your diplomacy looking like? You have a defensive pact with Belgium, Brazil, and Baden. Well, and you have puppeted Ak, Bali, and Karta. Cool. Oh, and look at all these dominions. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And Scandinavia owes them an obligation. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can only see this going good places. I can only see success in this French war. Uh, let me go ahead and expel their diplomats here. And now conquering state. This will cost 24 infamy. 24 infamy. I cannot afford 24 infamy at the moment. We have to wait for the infamy to go down. Otherwise, we'll get cut down to size or everyone will join the war against us. Because that is quite literally what will happen. Everyone in the world will join against us. Uh, also, uh, rip. Rip, but it's, it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, not going to happen. Uh, what about getting rid of child labor? How are we feeling about that? Industrialists don't like it, but hey, the trade unions love it. Let's get those kids in school, huh? Get that literacy rate up a bit. It's good. It's good for them. I promise you. I promise you. It is good for them to learn. All right, let's build two more government administration buildings. We could go for telephones. To be fair. That's a lot of electricity that I have to build that I don't really want to. Not at this point. Uh, police brutality. That's fine. <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah, no big deal. It is what it is, right? We got to keep these people in line. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's what it is. We have a lot of pops around here. Not a bunch up here. Don't worry. Rubber will become more expensive. It's fine. Uh, coal? Yeah, we probably make a lot from coal. Let's build three coal mines up here. Spain's going to war in Zanzibar. Okay. We don't love to see that. Let's see. If we had 24, then I need 75. 75 infamy, and then we can go to war. So this episode will probably be a, a bit of a longer one, since I do want to make this the last one, because we've kind of done everything. Uh, do not import my small arms. Please don't do that. I need those more than you do. Go ahead and protect the uh, national supply of all of these things. Do not sell them to other people. They're not allowed to have them. Actually, that's not true. You can buy my you you can buy my ironclads, but you can't buy my guns or my cannons or my ammunition. I need all those things. No! What is this? What is this, France? Oh my god why you didn't need that bro you didn't need it you could have colonized this faster or, or just not taken my one single tiny piece oh you son of a gun how dare you how dare you suffer just killed uh hmm maybe there's still a chance for women's rights maybe we can still do it Hmm. We'd have to throw in our lot with the petite bourgeoisie, which I don't really want to do, but hey, we could. <laughs> we, we could do it. It's possible. <sighs> well, it seems that we're going to go over 100 infamy no matter what we do. Because if I wanted to conquer this state, it's going to be 7 infamy, bro. 7. 7. 7. So, here's what I propose. We finish this little colony here, and then we just go for it. We just send it. Will the world hate me? Yes. Will they all join the war? Yes. Will they all come to kill me? Yes. But it doesn't matter. It's a Hail Mary. I've got to get my region. Ignoring these two little spots in Portugal, they don't matter. I can't get them. They don't exist. Okay? These are lakes. These right here, these are lakes. Ignore the trees. That's just underwater shrubbery. Uh, you know, they just didn't coat it in like this lake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. Damn you, France. Damn you and your little tiny colony. There we go. There's compulsory school. Uh, if I bring the petite bourgeoisie in, and then I kick out you, and then I go to laws, and then I go to, to, to the women, I need to wait seven more weeks, then I can go for a women's suffrage again. We can give it a shot. I'm not building anything. Let's go ahead and raise taxes up a bit to normal. People are going to hate us for this. They're going to be so disloyal. Uh, but I don't care. 
Well, market access and Cape Colony. I mean, that does need to be fixed. Build another train. More trains. More trains. <sighs> okay. One more week. Two more weeks. One, two. Two more weeks. There's automatic machine guns. Uh, do I wait a year and throw in my automatic machine guns? Because I could do that. Look at that defense. 25 defense, more kill rate, less provinces lost. I would have to wait a year, though. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Give me those machine guns. That's fine. Make sure all of these are entrenched and shrapnel artillery. Very good. That means that we're going to need uh, more guns and more steel. Yeah. And more ammunition as well. Though they could just hire more workers, actually. But we'll need more during the war. So go ahead and do that. Make sure that is subsidized. Make sure that guns are subsidized. Uh-huh. Uh, we can make more things. More stuff and things. Steel, you don't need to be subsidized. You're making plenty of money. Uh, electric hearth process. Makes electricity more expensive? Do it. Make me more steel. I need more. I need more stuff. And then build me more power plants, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we can get another tech here. Uh, how long is this going to take? Four years? Yeah, well, that's a bit beyond our capabilities at the moment. Any interesting production methods? Uh, sure, we'll go for condensed engine pumps. Or combustion engines, sorry. Condensed engines are a little bit earlier in the game. Just, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit earlier. Okay, we don't need to damage your relations anymore. Building all of this up. Colonization of Portuguese Herrera land. That is ridiculous that they were allowed to get that. So I think because they were already colonizing it and I colonized everything else, they were given this, which is dumb. So in my headcanon, we own that. That's a dumb mechanic. I should just colonize faster and take it. France. Stupid France. And we can't take this because it's a rebellion and it's like a bug. So that'll be there forever, unfortunately. That's our succession, by the way, I'm pretty sure, is the Sotho uprising. Um, we can't do anything about it, because it's not actually ours. It's the problem. Not actually ours. All right, so we just need to wait for the debuffs to our military to be almost done. Uh, garrison? Yeah, we got to wait for this equipment adjustment to go down. Then we go to war France and I don't think it's going to work and I think we're going to die, but it's going to be fun while we do it. We're going to try and teach the number one GP a lesson to stay out of South Africa. This is our territory. It's ours. And if Portugal joins, then we can take their land as well. That is rightfully ours. That's right. It's ours because my name is South Africa and, and we're in the South African region, which means by, Oh, Hello. Well, that's going to cause from some problems. Well, that's going to distract us a little bit. A little bit. Uh, could you not? Okay. Well, they really want to rebel. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to kick you down again. They're probably going to invite France or someone to this. I, I would imagine. Someone's going to get invited to this war. That's going to complicate things a lot. Or they'll just back down. They're only worried right now, which means they probably won't back down, actually. Which is kind of unfortunate. I would like them to just back down. Raising concerns. Uh, I can make the trade unions mad. That's fine. Alright, I mean, this should be a, a breeze for the most part. As long as no one else gets involved. It's just a warm-up. It's a warm-up war. Clearly. Uh, I'll even send in the defensive strategist guy and just use him to kick some butt, you know? You know? Uh, and in the French War, we're going to mobilize immediately, by the way. Full mobilization immediately. Get everybody going. Everybody going. Are you really not going to back down? Please back down. We don't need to do this. You're a jerk. I wanted to make this episode at least somewhat decently short. Devil's Paintbrush, more defense for two years. Or we can get a stalwart defender out of this general. 
Ooh. Stalwart defender. Yeah. That gives plus 10 defense on top of being an expert defensive strategist. So, yes, that sounds good. That sounds very, very good. Uh, in fact, you're getting promoted. You're 89. Don't you dare die. You are not allowed to die. You will live forever. You will live forever. Okay, we should just need to do a couple of like battles here. And we should be good to go. <sighs> Unfortunately, we have to do this. Because it really does slow us down. I suppose it gives us time for our last ammunition factory to... Or, I mean, plant. Munition plant to come online. So that's fine. No copium. No copium. Uh, we do have 1,000 guys here. Fine, I'll mobilize you two. Send you in. Just to get this done faster. How's this battle going? We're getting there. Just destroying our own country because of rebels. As it usually be. Yeah, I mean, that might be a, that might be a bit overkill. I, I'm just saying, might be a bit overkill. Yeah. Well, there we go. Okay, now we're splitting up again. So I guess now it's worth. Oh, he's killing a bunch of our people for no reason. We accept the peace deal. Thank you. All right. We've got 68. France? This is rightfully our clay. Does anyone want to join me? No, they do not. No, they do not. Okay. Well, go ahead and add in French Herrera land. Yes, that's right. That's right. We're going over 100. We are now a pariah. Everybody hates us. Everybody wants to kill us. Go ahead. Mobilize all generals. Activate all conscripts. It's time. It's time for South Africa to rise. Watch everyone join their side of the war. Please don't, though. <laughs> I, would, I would appreciate it if you didn't do that. And if you also didn't do a cut down to size war. Look, 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 look. I'm about to not be a pariah anymore. I should have just waited one month. I'm kind of throwing. Okay, there we go. I cannot be cut down to size anymore. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're not so good. What do you want if I back down? War reps? All right, that's fine. I'm willing to fight for that. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I don't have a great feeling about this. I won't lie. But you know what? We're going to do our darndest. We're going to do our darndest. Is there anything else from France that I want? No. It's literally just those two things. I don't want war reps. I don't want nothing. So now we have to decide where in the world am I going to send my generals. So over here, I would like to know. They have a defense in-depth specialist and an expert offensive planner. And they also have a bandit and a pillager. Up here, they have a reckless expert offensive planner. Reckless, you say? Reckless. You're meticulous. I think we send our main defense guy here. And we send our offensive guy here. And he defends at first. I want to see what their what their general does. Let's see what their general does. And then they'll get there just in time for the war to break out. Please, please, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. They take forever to move. I hate that. I know that I could cheat and just move them through, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now, we should beat their armies. What is France running? What is France running? That is the question. They are running shrapnel artillery and trench infantry. Okay. But they do have uh, first aid. So, in a long war, we're done. To How did they already get that? Boys, you had one job. You had one job. Not to let them do that. That's the thing. The bad thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so now they're going to have to reclaim this. Okay. Now in battles, we should... <laughs> we should do okay. Uh, 270 defense. We have the higher defense than the highest defense in the world. So that's an interesting number to look at. Uh, our war enthusiasm, though, is absolutely tanking because we do not control a single war goal. So, you 
actually need to go on the offense. I don't know how you're going to win these. In fact, I don't think you can, but you're going to do your darndest. You're going to do your, your gosh dang darndest to do it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You keep defending. There's no way in, there's no world in which you win. Uh, but expert offensive planner, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, not if we bring three guys to the fight. Okay? But you got to bring more than three dudes. I need at least, like, four dudes. Okay? Okay, we do get a win here. Okay, we're just bleeding these guys down. Do we try? We try going offensive here. We've got to try. We've got to try. Look, we're, we're moving in here. We're beating the French there. Are we going to beat the French? I'm not going to say it. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say a single word. We're just going to keep looking at the numbers. Okay? We're just going to keep looking at the numbers and seeing what happens. That's all, I'm, that's, all, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Maybe don't bring in one guy. M more than one guy, please. I prefer at least four guys. Not one. One is a bad number to bring into a fight. I will be honest with you. Okay. Again, you, you got to bring in at least four guys. I prefer four guys. Please. Okay, we have another battle down here. Okay, combustion engine, thank you. I don't care about combustion engine. I'm a little busy. All right, I'm a little busy. Fight the French. My war exhaustion's at 22. I've got to take a war goal. I've got to take at least one war goal. Please bring in more than three guys. I beg of you. If we just brought in more than three guys, we would be winning. We would be winning. Uh, please do not give me any of this. I don't care what you're thinking. I don't care what you're saying. You're not going to help me win this war. That's going to be another battle won. This right here, is this still that same battle? It sure is. But we're going to win it. Okay. No. Stop. Okay, when we go on the offense, okay, well, a blunder definitely does not help. Does not help the situation, I will admit. Uh, I would love to switch my generals around if possible. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we are we are pushing here. Are we defending? No, this is on the offense. It's saying we're going to lose. I don't believe them, though. I think we're going to get the dub here. They're collap collapsing faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No, again, again, more than three. I need more than three. Like, I know that you... I need the dudes. It's because of our recovery rate. That's why. We don't have the recovery rate that the French do. But, 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 how many have they lost? Okay, I want this. I, I want both. I'm not accepting anything but both. Look, they've lost more. They've spent just as much as we have. They have way more wounded. We are obliterating the French army so far. <laughs> Again, I'm going to keep qualifying. So far. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Activate conscripts. Okay, it's just one battalion. Never mind. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. We're losing convoys. I get that. I get that. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. We, we took him out here. We pushed the French back. Oh, I didn't think it was possible. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are we, are we going to win? Oh, I should have said it. I threw. I threw. I should have said it. I should have said it. I shouldn't have said it. Uh, oh, wait, we're getting free movement up here. Wait. Oh my god. We just took more land. Yeah. Yeah. Hold the line, boys. Hold the line. South Africa ascendant. France who? France who? Number one great power who? Look at that. Way more pops. Way more GDP. Way more overseas. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're going negative. We're gonna win. We just have to not throw. Okay, this kind of looks like throwing. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of looks like throwing. Um... Please don't lose after I got all hyped like that. It would be really, really embarrassing, and, and people would flame me. So please don't do that. Uh, pull it together, Alan. All right? Alan, you, you, hold. Hold the line. I know that you're very close to losing, but they're almost out of regiments. You just got to not die. Just simply don't die. Yes? They're down to one regiment. Just just hold. Yes. Yes. This is the power of out-teching people. All right? We are winning this war for one reason only, and that is the siege artillery. The extra offense, more morale damage, is absolutely saving us. Absolutely saving us. Look at this. The French, they're giving in. 
They're going to collapse soon. I mean, we don't have to keep pushing in, but I'm going to. Brazil, out of the war. Doesn't matter. Also, do keep in mind, France France did not fully mobilize for this. Fra- Fra- France did not fully mobilize. It, they could fo- fully mobilize and absolutely smash us into the ground. They could destroy us if they brought everyone to war. But they didn't. And that's the key thing. They didn't do that. <laughs> and so they're throwing. They're throwing. Hey, what's this? What's going on here? Oh, that was a battle. Baden's out. I'm just saying, they didn't fully mobilize, but doesn't matter, because we win. I'll, we could just give them war reps, but like that feels bad. That feels bad, bro. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? When I know that they are going to fully capitulate here any moment. Any moment now, they will fully capitulate. Proposing a peace deal. The French want out. The French want out. I want to finish this battle first. We accept. Look at that. They lost 140,000. They had 385,000 wounded. 318,000 due to attrition. All right. We had 88,000 dead, almost 89, and we had 80,000 wounded. About half of ours were from attrition for the wounded, and almost all of our deaths are from attrition. We only lost 6,000 men in battle. What about them? They lost 22,000. Okay, attrition kills, bro. Attrition kills kills we accept this peace deal we do thank you france oh it's beautiful oh it's beautiful how long is our truce with these guys till 1907 march i mean is it cocky maybe is it necessary no would it hurt my pride if i didn't actually get the entire south africa region when we do have the capability of getting south africa oh our entire economy is going to collapse here (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't have the Navy for that war. We would definitely need a bigger Navy. Um, but it's too late now. We're kind of already doing our stuff. The price of explosives is going up because the price of sulfur is going up. Because we can't get market access here. Oh. No, because the price of explosives... Huh? Why? Oh, because our market access got all messed up. Okay, well, that would do it, huh? That sure would do it. All right, Portugal. What's up? Our truce is up. Now. Give me this land. U.S., just don't join. (laughs) Just simply do not, okay? Just simply do not. What's my infamy? 93.8. How much is it going to cost to conquer a Portuguese Herrera land? Uh, 6.3. So that means we are a pariah. Gosh dang it. I've once again done bad math, which is all my math that I always do, but it is still bad math. And yeah, fully conscript again. We're going all in, okay? It worked last time, so surely it'll work again. Surely my economy won't collapse because I'm completely ignoring it, right? They wouldn't do that. You want a treaty port? Well, I'm not giving you a treaty port. Good. Everybody stay out of here. Everybody stay out of here. If I could beat the French, I could beat the Spanish, okay? Again, yes, France didn't fully mobilize, but, like, we still took the dub. A dub's a dub, all right? I was expected to get rolled. Like, absolutely rolled, but we didn't. We did not get absolutely rolled. Just very lucky. But, hey, it's better to be lucky than good, right? Better to be lucky than good. This is also going to end up being a really, really long finale. I just looked at the timer here. Uh, So, thanks for sticking around. If you're still here, leave a comment down below. Say, uh, uh, France, L, South Africa, W. Yes, do, do that. Do that. All right, here we go. We're going to war. I, I kind of forgot to move my troops to the front line, so I'm going to do a little uh, little, little cheatsy here where I'm going to teleport them to the front line. Uh, please ignore this. Uh, I moved them there earlier, actually. Kind of crazy if you didn't see me move them there earlier. All right, so quickly move through. Yeah, they're not even sending troops here. They are not even sending troops here. Oh, they are now. Okay, yeah, they have troops here now. Uh, and they're sitting 52 down here. Okay, but we've got one of the war goals. Okay, we, we need to occupy this, guys. This right here. The war goal, please. Are you my offensive planner? No, you're my defensive planner. Ooh. That's okay. Hopefully we get this fully done and then we don't have to worry about this front line. It's looking like we may get there in time. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh, they got here. 
Wait, what? Oh, Spain took this land, so we have to keep pushing up. That's fine. We're crushing their troops, so it's not a big deal. Uh, they've sent a lot of troops to this front, but we have both the war goals, which means their war enthusiasm is going to tank. Ladies, gentlemen, and bees, I think we're actually going to own the entire South Africa region, except for this, but it's a bug. Okay, there's nothing I can do about it. Just pretend that this is a little vassal state, okay? Just a little vassal state. Mm-hmm. That's what they are. I cannot declare war on them. Otherwise, I would. But we're going to own the entire South Africa strategic region. Yeah. Every single bit of it, except for, except for one. But it's fine. Vassal state. Which is pretty cool. I didn't think we were going to get there. We got a cool flag. We're pretty liberalized. Uh, we could try this again. 27%. Not feeling too great about those odds. But hey, we tried to liberalize more. <laughs> we got a little stuck there for a bit, but it's okay. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Should we send our Navy out? I think we should. Let's go ahead and recruit an Admiral. Yeah. Experienced Naval Commander. got cancer. Well, that's fine, because uh, this campaign's not going to last long enough for you to die. You go ahead and uh, patrol the coast. Yeah. Actually. Escort. Yeah, yeah. Just patrol the coast. He's got one, one dude, one ship, that is not top of the line. So... He's going to get rolled. He's going to die. But at the very least, we can now say that we did, in fact, use our Navy one single time. Uh, and I do want to recruit a general as well for the Congo HQ. Uh, sure. And we're going to mobilize you. And we're going to go get this occupied. <laughs> Since they have no one there. That's just a free occupation. All right. We're pushing up here. Yeah, Spain is quickly, 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 quickly losing its war support. Go ahead and give me both of these. Yep, he's pushing up on his own now. And no one's even contesting him. Okay, and you're pushing there. We'll knock destroyers, okay. You still doing your thing? Yeah. Uh, sure. That's fine. I, our economy, is it collapsing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. But we're going to get the dub. We're going to meet all of our goals. And that's all that matters. As long as I stay in the top 10, which I will, then we're good. We're just fine. Look at that. France is conciliatory. Let's just improve relations with them. We can be friends with France again. We don't need to be enemies. I don't want to fight them again. We're good. Okay, you go raid convoys here. Specifically because I know that they have a navy here. Oh, God, they're going to die. But let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, Adrian Windsor Clyde, I believe in you. I believe in your capabilities as a naval commander. I think you can beat the odds and beat the Spanish Navy. Okay? You got this. I believe. Before I say that, though, what are they running with? Uh, no, he is very dead. He is he is so very dead. He is so very dead. Um, good luck. If they actually even fight. They might not fight at all. All right, we're kind of stuck here on front lines. Imagine that. Uh, but, I mean, we are doing way better. Even with mud for less provinces captured, we're, like, destroying them. Yeah, they're taking more damage. They're taking more more everything. This is stalled out a bit more, but, like, if you look, we're, we're destroying their troops. And there we go. Spain is out, which means we've done it. Now, to be fair, I probably should have taken this off of Portugal for good borders. I'm sure there's some people that are pretty mad that I didn't do that. But... But that wasn't the goal, okay? And we would have died because we've been a pariah for a long time. All right? But there we go. Boom. South Africa ascended. We did it. Starting off as the Cape Colony, a, a dominion of France or Great Britain. Sorry, I was looking at radical France here. Uh, I believe we were a dominion of Great Britain. Maybe a puppet. I, I think we're a puppet. Uh, we broke free with the help of the Spanish, ironically. And we have since then colonized and expanded outwards. We have beat the French, the Portuguese, the Spanish, and the British in a war. Which is pretty impressive. Uh, we own the entirety of the South African strategic region. We have the ninth largest economy in the world. It's actually like the eighth or something like that. Uh, but because Radical France popped up now, Radical France and France count for like the top two. But we're like number eight. Uh, we have the 31st highest literacy in the world our standard of living drop but that's most because i raised taxes for the war and stuff uh population looking good 14th most radicals uh, whatever uh, great power rank we're technically number eight 
which means we have dropped from number six. Uh, though there are ways to get our prestige up, like expanding our navy would dramatically increase the prestige we have and would do a lot of work to get us probably back up near number six. Uh, but I would say that this is a very successful campaign. Thank you for all of you that watched not only the entire series of Victory, but also this very, very long ending episode. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.